how to fill letters using photos inside of Cricut Design Space. Let's go. Hi, I'm Crystal with Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that notification bell down below as well as the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our crafting tutorials. It is definitely time to do an updated version of our fill letters with photos. We did it quite some time ago here on Design Bundles, but I think there's been some changes inside of Cricut Design Space. So let's go ahead and get into it. When it comes to filling font with photos, you really want to use a very nice, bold font. So today we are actually using Headliner. You guys can snag this. It's a very nice, clean cut, bold font. And I really think you guys will love it. Now I have already installed my font. So all I'm simply going to do is come over here to text. And then we're going to come over here where it says font and then system. From here, I can go ahead and start to type out, you know, headliner and quickly you're going to see that pop up. Now, one of the really cool things is if you click on this tab here, it will actually add it to your bookmark section. So it's very easy to find. So I could come over here. I've got 15 fonts just right away and I can type in headliner and it's going to pop up right inside of here as well. So what I try to do is whenever I upload my font, I automatically add it to my bookmark. So it's so much easier to find later. Now what we're simply going to do is just go ahead and double click our font and I'm going to type out the word mom here and I'm going to size this out just so we can visually see what's going on. Next up, you just want to go over here to upload. And if you haven't already, you're going to want to go to upload an image and bring in your photo. You're going to bring it in as a print and cut file and then you should have something that's going to look just like this. Here's the photo I'm using today. This is me and my girls on Easter. So I thought it would be absolutely perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and just stretch this guy out and then I'm going to come up here to arrange and we are going to send this backwards. So now what I want to do is just kind of play around with mom and figure out how could I get all of our faces in here. I'm going to kind of scoot it over something like that. And then what I'm going to do so we can visually see because we were blocked out here, right? So what you can do is with the word mom selected, so we're going to select mom. We're going to come over here to our operation and we're going to change that to a pin, which is going to allow you to be able to see through it. So hopefully you can see those little faint lines there. And that's going to allow you to see exactly where their faces are going to go on this. So I'm thinking I want to maybe move up somewhere right about in here. And if I need to, maybe I want to kind of size this down just a bit to get a little bit more in there, something about like that. Once you're happy with this, we're going to come back up to our operation and we're going to change this back to a basic cut. At this point, we're going to select both layers and we're going to come down here to the slice tool. And then at this point, we can get rid of all of these extra layers and it's going to leave us with this. Now, once again, you could continue to play around with this until you have your faces exactly where you want it. Now, ours is a little bit weird because I've got some more of that mantle. You guys can see my Nintendo Switch back here. Anybody else a Nintendo Switch lover, let me know. Uh, we play Animal Crossing, we're a little bit obsessed, um, and a little bit of Mario, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, I'm pretty happy with this. I like the way that this has came out. Now, something that you may wanna do to kinda help this pop off the back as well, is what a lot of people are doing right now, is you can come up here and select the offset feature, and then you can change that color, so that way you can have that just pop off the bag a little bit more. So today we're working with sublimation. There's other things that you can do, like the DTF hack, where you can use the white HTV, and then that DTF hack on top if you were using a colored garment. So for example, if I was doing dad, I was gonna use a nice green T-shirt, Shirt that was 100% cotton. You can use things like Caesar Easy Subly, printable if you want to use your inkjet uh, printer. You can use printable HTV. The list goes on. You don't just have to do sublimation with this process. So what we're going to do with our offset is I'm going to bring mine down a little bit. I'm going to do 0 0.15 enter. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And you're going to see automatically it's going to change it to black. So I'm going to play around with this just a little bit. I had some greens going on there. So I'm going to select the green. Now another little tip I want to show you guys when it comes to changing those colors in case you didn't know, you can actually come down here to advance and then you can really play around with that. So the color of our pants that we were actually wearing, you guys seen that in the dresses was more like this 
boho green, if you will, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is what I'm gonna go ahead and say. So I'm gonna add that to mine. I could have definitely done a pink as well if I wanted to. I think that's super cute. But I think I'm gonna stick with that eucalyptus because it just kind of went with everything. The next thing that we're simply gonna do is select both of these layers and then we're gonna go right down here to where it says flatten. Because if you don't, it's gonna try to take it into two separate pieces and cut them out separate and all those things and we don't want that to happen. So we are gonna go ahead and start to size this down a little bit. Another really cool thing that Cricut recently has done with their print and cut features is you can actually print a little bit more than you could before. And even, for example, if you're using beta mode, you can print on 11 by 17 paper as well. We also have a tutorial on that. If y'all wanna check it out, I'll try to link it down below or up above. So what we're gonna do is you can see that we have a red warning here telling us that this is too big. And I wanna see about how big it will give me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that red icon and it's gonna tell me how big it can go. And the really cool thing about this is now they have auto resize. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it auto resize and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a ruler and we're gonna see if that'll fit on here. As you guys can see over here in Cricut Design Space, it's giving me 9.94 by 3.04. I'm gonna go ahead and just measure 10 by three. So let's see how much we got. So I need to probably do something about eight inches wide. So let's go ahead and bring that up to eight inches. And then that gives us almost 2.5. So let's just see about that height there. So it's gonna be something about like that. Now, if I wanna stretch this just a little bit, what I can go ahead and do at this point is with Cricut's new feature, another one, they actually allow you to resize this and change the proportion without having to come up here and hit the unlock. You can actually grab the bottom here and we can actually size that out. So as long as you're not distorting your photo or anything, you can see we still look completely normal. I can kind of still probably stretch this out just a little bit. I was trying to get to that 3.0. I think that looks pretty good to me. I think we look great. Y'all let me know in the comments below. What do you think? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That gives me three inches, just a little bit more room. I'm excited about it and I'm definitely very, very happy with this. Now, another really cool thing that I could do on top of this, if I wanted to add some images here, I could actually attach an image, a printable image, if you will, right here in the corner as well. If I wanted to cover up kind of what was going on here, like maybe I wanted to add a flower, I would just attach that and flatten it as well and then maybe have to resize it out. Now that we're completely happy with this, we're just simply gonna hit make it. Now, a couple things here. For example, I'm actually not gonna take this all the way to the Cricut to cut it out, but if you were, you would definitely wanna make sure that you mirror it right here. No matter what, I'm gonna mirror it here, but you wanna make sure whenever you get over to your Sawgrass Print Manager or maybe Epson that you have the exact same setting. So I wanna make sure that my mirror is turned off inside of my Print Manager, which I'll show you guys here in just a minute, because I wanna make sure, I've already mirrored it here, whatever is showing here, I need to make sure it prints that exact way so I could actually add it to be cut here. So for example, if I was gonna be doing uh, Caesar Easy Subly or the uh, Caesar DTB or printable HTV or something like that, and I'm gonna have it cut it out, you definitely wanna keep that in mind. Now that I have this mirrored and I'm using the sawgrass, I actually can't print it directly from here, so I'm gonna show you guys a tip on that. We're gonna go ahead and hit the continue button and we're gonna choose send to printer. So you're gonna notice that right now it's choosing my Canon printer. It doesn't matter, we're not actually printing from this. But say for example, you were using an Epson, go ahead and choose that now and send it straight on to the printer. Next, we're gonna make sure we turn off that bleed line and turn on use system dialog. This is where it's very important when you're using Sawgrass Print Manager is using the system dialog. It's gonna allow us to save it as a PDF, so then we can send it to the Sawgrass. So now we're gonna go ahead and hit print. It's not actually gonna print. It's gonna bring up that system dialog. So from here, you're gonna see this, and right down here where it says PDF, if you click right here, you're gonna get an option to save it. I always just save mine right to the desktop. I'm just gonna type out mom, and then we're going to hit save. Now that I have it saved to my desktop, we're gonna grab that file right here, and we're gonna drop it into our Sawgrass Smart Folder. From here, we're gonna turn off that mirror like I was telling you because we've already mirrored it inside of Cricut Design Space. And then we are using my Sawgrass SG-1000, so I've got that chose. My substrate is going to be polyester, so we're gonna go ahead and hit print. 
While that prints out, let's go ahead and go over supplies. Today I'm actually gonna be using my Cricut Easy Press. I've got it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds and I'm actually going to be using this Cricut zipper bag here. I actually scrapped this off the clearance section at Hobby Lobby um, and you may already have some of these, but as long as it's polyester, you can sublimate on these or if it's a canvas one, do the DTF hack. I've got the Cricut pad here and I've got a couple pieces of parchment paper and then I've got some heat tape as well. As you can see, we've got it all printed out here and ready to go. Once again, if you were gonna use your Cricut, you would just load it on your mat in the exact direction that you can see it inside of Cricut Design Space. I'm not gonna do that, I don't need to. So we're simply just gonna go ahead and use our paper trimmer. So I'm just gonna go through here and trim off these excess um, black border all the way around. You could definitely just simply use a pair of scissors as well, but I like to keep things nice and straight. And I wanna tell you, I don't do that with a pair of scissors. So I'm just gonna use my paper trimmer here. So I'm just gonna go through here and trim them out. There we go, last one. So perfect, you should have something that's gonna look just like this. Now to prep up our bag, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a piece of parchment paper in between. If you guys seen our recent Timu haul, you guys know that I got some parchment papers in there and they were really, really small. So I'm using them for projects like these. I don't always put pieces in between, but because this is such a very thin material in a sense, I'm just gonna put a piece in there just to be safe, just to protect my pad underneath, as well as just the layers here. So you just wanna figure out, do you want your zipper to be on this side or the other side? I prefer mine just like so. So we're gonna go ahead and get that on our heat pad. We're gonna take our Cricut Easy Press. I'm just gonna put this on here for around five seconds or so, just to heat it up, remove any sort of moisture and smooth everything down. Once that has cooled back down, we're gonna take our design and we're gonna place it down and apply a couple pieces of tape. I gotta find my tape here, I've lost it, it's went in here. Now I've also got this recently on our Timu haul. You guys know I've used a pink one for a very long time. If y'all have not seen that video, definitely make sure you guys check it out. I am obsessed with their craft supplies right now. Such a great, great deal. And I know a lot of you guys always ask me about my donut and now you can snag them over there for like a dollar or something. So check it out. Here we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab me a, a couple pieces of tape. And I think one of my things is I have this in here upside down. That's all right. Perfect. So we're gonna take our design here. I'm gonna get it down on my zipper bag, get it nice and centered. So you guys are probably not gonna see this for 2023's Mother's Day, but maybe you're just looking for mom's birthday or Father's Day is coming up and you wanna do the same thing. You guys could create them a tote bag for fishing or hunting or anything like that as well, or put it on a t-shirt, hoodie, so many different things that you guys could do. So I've got that taped down. We're gonna take our parchment. I think this one will fit on here. Let's see, I think I'll pick this one just to be safe. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I've got 400 degrees. I probably could get away with 380 five, but we're just gonna do 400 degrees for 60 seconds. All right, here we go, let's check it out. We're gonna lift that up, remove our parchment paper, and then you just want to quickly pull it away, just like so. I am obsessed with the way this came out. This is so cute, I'm gonna bring it up so you guys can check it out. I'm gonna remove that parchment. You wanna make sure it's completely cooled down before you do that because it defeats the purpose. And you can actually see, let me tell you guys about this, this spot. I'm gonna bring it up really, really fast. I totally forgot about this pad. Usually when I use it, I try to cover the bottom piece because a long time ago, I got a little bit of infusible ink on the bottom. If you guys get any sort of sublimation ink, infusible ink on your mats, make sure you cover them up with coffee paper or parchment paper, because if not, you will end up with that design on the back side. But luckily it's just on the back. I love it. I think it came out so, so cute. 
and I'm gonna rock this. So I'm gonna throw some makeup in here. This would also make a great gift. Once again, if, say for example, I was doing Sarah or Ashley was doing it for a senior gift or a birthday gift, I could do multiple photos over the years and or even just time. For example, if it was a senior and you were gonna use the word senior, we have tons of SVGs that simply say senior for you if you want something that's already made for you. And then you would do the same thing. Take those photos and just slice it. You can kind of line those up one at a time. If you guys want to see a, another video in depth of showing multiple uh, photos on each letter, let me know. We'll definitely redo this and do something more fun. Like I said, something that may be a gift for a senior, adding a ton of photos, or maybe the word mother, all those things. But like I said, think about the beach. If you guys are going to the beach this summer and you guys took a family photo, you could definitely do that and just write out that word beach or sunset. If you went on a run, so for example, me and my daughter went on a glow run I was telling you guys about, I could either type run and I could have had, there was a picture I almost used for this tutorial and it has me, my daughter and a friend and I could have had us like that and done the word run and used it for whenever I'm out on my walks or whatever, or even the word glow, lots of different things. You could do boss babe and have all kinds of different pictures of you starting your little business, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. There's so, so many different ways to do this. I really love it. It's a great way to personalize a gift. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys have learned something new along the way. And you guys let me know in the comments below, have you guys tried to fill font with photos? If you have, what is a gift that maybe you have made? Or let me know if you guys are gonna be recreating this and who are you gifting this for? Is it gonna be yourself? Is it dad? Let me know all of those details down below. Thank you guys so much for watching me. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that notification bell as well as that subscribe button so you guys don't miss a crafty thing.